for Rochester. I am from where tongues become laced with old English and their containers get smashed by the side of the road, cutting tires and brand new sneakers. I am from where fires in the suburbs burn like the inside of city pants. And the most religious ain't got no souls and don't know how to dance. Where I'm from, some questions don't have answers, and they ask why I still love where I'm from. And all I can do is to tell them how someone once stole the tires on my father's truck at night keeping me home, and how he bought new ones the next day that always bring me back. This one is for everybody who's ever been a high schooler, and this is anybody. I can't stand high school shit. Cheating on your partner and claiming you can't help it. Stealing and cutting class but can't admit you're selfish. Being able to take care of yourself and still acting helpless. Getting paid minimum wage and still thinking you wealthy. I can't stand high school shit. 18 years old and thinking you grown, complaining about all the homework you get when you don't do shit work at home. <laughs> Running into problems instead of working it out, you just hang up the phone, needing to be in love because you're afraid to be alone. I can't stand high school shit. Spending mom's cash on jewelry to flaunt, calling me up at midnight when you don't know what the fuck you <laughs> Jealousy over simple talk. Looking down on others because you don't have respect for the road they walk. I can't stand high school shit. Big egos too big for growing heads. Crass consumerism only caring about presidents that's dead. High school shit like this makes me see red. And don't get me wrong, just because you're not in high school does not mean that you cannot commit some high school shit. Relying on mommy and daddy to feed you, dipping out at times when your friends really need you, not able to be true to your own self, not looking out for your own health because you think you can't do. self dry of self-love, why? Because you are still less than adolescents, crescent moons that still grow. I can't stand high school shit, but I love you still, yo. But I wish you wouldn't steal, yo. Because high school shit is tired and old as dirt. And I know you're more mature. Not saying I'm 100% on everything, but I can't stand high school shit. That's for sure. All right, and then this last one is uh, a little bit heavier. So here we go. In words we trust. We lean out car windows, cat calling girls in foreign tongues. Hey baby, you got to let me ride. Your fine self need to walk over to this car and get inside. This is the language of a people that tried to cut off my balls thinking theirs would grow. Whip God into me and told me no chariot would swing low to carry me home. Taught me that home was misery and that my balls were not my own. The language in which white men taught me to fuck when they said fuck. Left me financially and spiritually bankrupt, not believing in God, only believing in going to church. This is the speech that would not speak of my woman's rape. Illegitimate children preferentially treated as house slaves. This language made house slaves domestics and darker Africans feel niggas. Language that put fingers on triggers and killed niggas as they pulled. Pulled wool over eyes, told blacks don't vote if you want to survive. Language that made me a stranger where I live. Words be some brothers only hope at pulling in figures. Words over which cats were slain. Language in which crack deals are weighed. Powerful weight of a kilo. Kilos of coke became keys. Sound like keys. Keys that lock diner doors on black customers. Lock house doors because suburban men were afraid of them. Keys that locked up young brothers for life. 
Language which whispered, try dope, in the revolutionary ears, told us we don't belong. Language with the phrase, land of the free and home of the brave, which killed Din Diem and supported the conscience which would not tell my history, which would not tell me I had history. Language of white men who thought his story was just his story. Language which no not kick doors in. Language which so easily switched what it was saying, the police motto being to protect and serve, when it should have been to protect from equality and serve some. When will change come to the language in which women are hoes and tricks? Language, call it poems, prose is spit, but never forget the king's English sat on breaths that gave smallpox to the Native Americans and advocated slavery and racism. This is all I know. This tongue was what I was born into, so I can never forget what was. Nigger is still nigger, even if you change ER to an A. So words I spray like gasoline to stoke the fire in your heart because I am not afraid of this language. I'll master it so it cannot master me. Cut to the core of self-masturbatory missions by dirty politicians using language to give not only kisses but blowjobs to big business. Fulfilling wishes contrary to my best interests. Language in which Jim Crow laws were written and Nixon claimed he wasn't no crook. Black men call black women bitches, and young crack dealers learn how to cook. This language spoke death, but now I make it speak life, speaks love, and once it spoke strife, this is the reincarnation of language into something that lifts us up because we won't let it keep us down. Laws written, but we still calling each other niggas. Makes me sick. We got changes to make, so make them quick. This is the language of strangers, and I must adapt it more than adapt myself, because it's the only one I know. And hell, if this language could tell my ancestors what to do with the black fist, it could damn sure destroy a capitalist, or at least stop kids from killing kids. These words, I never play with these and speak real shit exclusively, because pop words have power, power we can use to make a change. From lying police state, to serving us, from tearing each other down to seeing the worth in us and in the hurt in us. Words can make a change, in words we trust.